Why do I collect games? Why do you play games? I'm an adult. Grow up already. I get all sorts of comments on my videos. I'm 44, so why do I collect games? Or why do I play games? What sparked my love for this medium to begin with? Let's talk about that for a second. This is a question you could ask a hundred people and get a hundred different answers. Why do we play games? More importantly, why do some of us collect games? Well, for me, it goes way back. My first experience with a video game, I'm gonna pinpoint was sometime in the early 80s, probably 84, maybe 85. It was actually before the NES launched. And it all has to do with that Miss Pac-Man machine that you always see behind me in all of my other videos. And here is why. My grandfather bought a Miss Pac-Man arcade cabinet brand new back in the early 80s and put it at his house. He had a room that had a massive wall from floor to ceiling of VHS movies. And in the center of that room was a pool table and right off next to the side was a Miss Pac-Man machine. I used to visit my grandparents quite frequently and I would stay overnight there quite a bit. One of my earliest core memories, not only of video games, but of my grandfather, was him standing at the Miss Pac-Man every night. He always got a bowl of Rocky Road ice cream, which was his favorite. Personally, I really don't like all that much. And he would stand there and grind away at Miss Pac-Man every night before bed. And as a child, I would sit there and watch him. Fascinated me. That was like his escape. Oh, here's my favorite part. Oh, my wife gets so mad. You're gonna burn your beard. It's not like she's a hairdresser or anything. And over the course of years, my grandfather every night would sit there. He played so frequently that at the top of the machine on both sides of the T-molding were actual like hand grip marks. And then sometimes he would switch positions and there were hand grip marks on the bottom of the machine. But man, he just intently played. And there was something so fascinating about it. You know, as an adult thinking back on it, I think this was a bit of a reality escape for my grandfather. You know, he was World War II era. He saw all kinds of crazy stuff. And within a few years, Nintendo releases the NES in North America. Him and my grandmother went out and bought the set that came with the, the Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt combo cartridge. They plugged that console into a little tiny tube television that sat on top of their dresser, which was really high and like kind of far away from where they were sitting. But my grandmother and my grandfather would sit there in their bedroom every single night and go back and forth playing two player Super Mario Brothers constantly trying to one-up each other. No pun intended. That was my childhood. Fast forward to Christmas of that year, my brother and I got our own Nintendo Entertainment System. And I found myself just falling in love with escaping to all these fantasy worlds, like Hyrule in Legend of Zelda, or the Mushroom Kingdom in Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, or 3. And from there, I just never looked back. I will admit I'm one of those weird kids that sometimes wouldn't open their toys and kept their boxes for everything. I never sold anything. All the stuff that you see in my collection in all of my videos, most of that stuff is stuff from my childhood. If you don't believe me, you can look closer and see my brother and I carved our names into a lot of it with a wood burning tool. And over the years, the love and the passion and the joy that video games have brought me just continues to grow. Then I got to introduce my kids to this and I get to share that love and passion with them as well. So why do I collect? Grow up, bro. Well, to answer that question, if leaving behind the things in life that bring you love and happiness and joy means growing up, Fuck man, I'm like Peter Pan then. I am never gonna grow up. I'm mature. 
I actually run a business outside of this full time. I have two very well behaved children and I have a beautiful, awesome wife and a great house. I'm very mature. But if growing up means giving up the things that I love and am passionate about, just so other people will view me as responsible or an adult or grown up, take me off to fucking never, never land. Cause it's never gonna happen. So let me ask you, why do you play games? And if you collect, why do you collect games? Mm, and here's an awesome, fun little factoid. That Miss Pac-Man that was at my grandfather's house that has all those wear marks on it is actually the same exact Miss Pac-Man that you see in my arcade right behind me every time I shoot a video down there. My grandfather passed away when I was in my late 20s and he left that machine to me. So I carry on and someday it'll probably end up in my kids or my grandkids house if that's something that they love.